It's Digitizer Deluxe. Featuring Paul Gannon and Mr. Biffo. Plus special guest star, Suze Kempner. Hello, uh, welcome to Digitizer Deluxe, the show that we're calling Digitizer Deluxe because we're somewhere that's a little bit nicer than when we normally are. My house. Yeah. Our house, dear. Look, Sonia's here. Hi. My wife. Uh, <laughs> as is Suze. And this, this is suspiciously close to Borat, right, that. My wife! Yeah. I don't really uncomfortable. <laughs> My bottom bones are just up on this rickety oh, bloody stuff. Like a torture. I need thing. a cushion. Uh, Susie's here. Susie Kempner. Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Suze, do you want to plug your podcast while you're here? Sure. So that one? To wherever you like. That one? Why not listen to Mystery on the Rocks? It's a podcast where uh, me. Chris Stokes. He's checking, really rudely checking his Checking watch. his watch. No, my girlfriend's changed the type on it, so now when it scrolls <laughs> through, it says, you're stupid. <laughs> Susie, would, you like, would you like to have another go at uh, plugging your podcast? Sure I would. <laughs> Mystery on the Rocks, where me and comedians Chris Stokes and Masood Milas get together and try and solve real-life unsolved mysteries while drinking very good cocktails and I write a song in it. And we have comedian guests on, such as Nish Kumar, Nick Helm, Beck Hill, and more of your favourites, including Mr. Biffle. Oh. <laughs> uh, who's he? <laughs> uh, and we have also Chris Jordan Cook, who... Um, Unwieldy name. What do, you, what do you want me to do? I don't know. I'm C, stuck CJC. with it. <laughs> CJJC. That's Just call me you... Chris. It's fine. But I'm telling them who you are. Oh, I apologise. Chris Jordan Cook, uh, who uh, is the musical maestro of all things to do with Digitizer, Mr Biffo's found footage. He wrote the Clive Sinclair song. And many other greats. Must. Elon Musk. Musk. Elon Musk. Musk. Elon Musk. Not the Wozniak one, so don't tell him that's your favourite. I don't mind, it's a good song. Yeah, I know, but you you do get people telling you, oh, I love that one. Yeah, it's always great, that's the favourite one. <laughs> just take the credit. That, yeah. uh, that's that's the American writer's room approach, isn't it? And yeah. just go, did you like it? Fantastic. Thank you. Anyway, um, you will notice that we haven't got Eli here this week, who has been on all the episodes of Digitized the Lights, and I'm afraid to say it's because he's died. Um, it's very sad. I'm your fat bloke this time. Um, so, to commemorate his uh, memory, his passing, <laughs> yeah. we're going to play a death quiz, a fun death quiz, because... It's very respectful. Yeah. It's what you would have wanted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, do you want to give yourself team names? Ooh. Uh... No. Team Bohemian Death. Rhapsody. Team Death. <laughs> yeah. Team, team Death. Death. Like fucking Ogre Battle or something. If we're, we're Ogre doing Battle. Queen, team oh, Ogre Battle Ogre and Battle. Team Death. Death. The winner wins a beautiful funeral that I shall oh, really? di- digitally prepare for them. Now I'm going to the book my own funeral with simple cremation. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're going to get something special if no, you win. Uh, so, simple <laughs> cremation. I've got a cushion I can sit on. Really I mean, my bum. there's the... Bean? Well, like that that you sit on the fox. On yeah. <laughs> Poor fox. You might be able to fit here. Oh, I know what I can do. Probably. I'll get you one of the uh, prison thingamajigs to soften your body. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sorry yeah. about the casual swearing. I need to put a lid on. I didn't hear any. <laughs> Are we not allowed to swear on this? I don't eat. Um, well, come on, eat. <laughs> <laughs> you never seen I it. Heard, I heard, um, <laughs> I, I swear I've heard swearing on the Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Eat. I don't, because I'm a good boy. I'm just a potty mouth, I know. Right, round one, famous right. last words. Okay. I shall read out two phrases, and you will have to choose which of the two phrases are the final words of a famous person, according to Wikipedia. Okay. okay. So, Salvador Dali, hmm. were his last words either A, where is my clock, or B, why is my clock? <laughs> <laughs> Should we go with B? I'm gonna go I can hear what they're saying. Yeah, well, don't, do you think we would stop really listening? Good. We yeah. could, we yeah. could, yeah. 
right, good. Right down. We've got a code. And point oh one. Uh, what have you both? Well, I can see what you both come for because I'm tower above you. We Went B because it was the weirder one of the B. two. It, it sounds like a translation. So it's probably gone A. Yeah, unfortunately, it is A. Where oh. is my clock? Oh. Oh. Get look. bent, darling. Yeah, take that. I'm going to make a note on here of who's like scored what. clocks. My mm. grandma, just before she died, she went into, you know, drifting and out of consciousness. And the last thing she said to me was, fucking Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Famous last words. Fucking Hoover. Wow. That's brilliant. Yeah. Well, a very clean house she kept. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, except she couldn't find the Hoover. <laughs> going missing. Uh, rolled. Where's the N doll? Um, so this is going to be something about oh. Jewish people. Oh, <laughs> Why? Where's the? Where's the oh, it oh, looks Ron like it should be called Ronald. Ronald. Oh, yeah. Stupid Peter name. Cook. How many other did, did it? Check. Okay, right, fine. <laughs> Everyone on this show, we've done it on Barshans, okay. we've done it on the yeah, Good Mythical Morning. Definitely. Now it, now it's Peter Cook did it first. I can't win. Get bent, Peter Cook. What saying? Where's the end? Yeah, what were his famous last words? I don't know. Tragically, oh, I was lonely. Twin. <laughs> Sorry. Now yeah. my liver. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, right, Roald Dahl. Were well, his final words? A, you stupid woman. Yeah. You stupid woman. <laughs> uh, or B, ow, fuck. <laughs> oh, I know which one I want it to is, be. Is that Mr. I don't swear on digitizer <laughs> bitho there? Right. Right, the answer is. I put A. Put B. Suze and oh. Chris win. Oh. Hey, it is it. his Chris... final words were Al fuck, which he said after a nurse jabbed him with a needle. <laughs> I'm glad she Shall did. Shall I tell you how we arrived at that? How did you arrive at you that? You just made it. a whole thing about how you don't swear on this show, and then oh. there was a swear, and I think you probably wouldn't have done that if that wasn't the thing he actually I said. Done it. I have sworn. I swore the Columba mm. way. Of Venus swore. Thank Thank you. You. Venus swear. He did. That's a whole can of beans we don't want to open. Yay! Oh, one big bean Ooh. we don't want to open. <laughs> one big bean for Christmas, yes. <laughs> Question three. Freddie I to do Mercury. That on the demo. Freddie Mercury. Right. Freddie Mercury. His final words: A. Poo poo. Or B. Pee pee. <laughs> Oh, I have never heard this. I, hope, I wish it was neither. <laughs> I wish it was something like, remember me as I was. What do we think? Freddie Mercury, Poo Poo or Pee Pee? I've gone for Poo Poo. I've gone for Poo Poo too. The answer, unfortunately, is Pee Pee. Oh. Oh. not what you want it to be, is it? He said, said those not words. Not in our case. Do we know? Not in our case. Was, uh, took a trip to the toilet and then died shortly afterwards. Oh, right. And he went, Pee Pee? All the greatest oh. people do uh. die on the toilet. Well, Elvis, Elvis and him. <laughs> Anyone else die on the toilet? Almost certainly. Yeah, I mean, those. in general, yeah, but I'm thinking of people I, of note. When not I this worked, Barry um, from Spain. When I worked as a tribute act, one of the other tributes was Elvis, and he loved Elvis so much. And I always said to him, Is it true that he died on the toilet? And he went, He didn't die on the toilet, he died in the bathroom. Like, like, <laughs> like, oh, oh, wow. Like, wow. Dead Elvis. Like. Yeah, did he die in the bathroom with his pants down around his ankles and poo hanging yeah, out the Yeah, because he was trying to force out a massive shit. Yeah. Well, funny enough, I did nearly put Elvis's final words in here, but I didn't go with Elvis. And they were, what were they? It was, I'm, I'm going to the bathroom to read. Oh, he was on the toilet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, wow. Aren't you not allowed, like if you visit Graceland, you're not allowed to you can't go upstairs, go upstairs yeah. where the bathroom is. Mm. There's only one in this little well, house. You, <laughs> <laughs> you are allowed to go there. Yeah, you can see all the TVs he used to shoot at. Well, but you, you can go to the bathroom at Graceland, but they always say give it 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a match, it's a bit corpsey in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> Right, question four. Adam Faith. You know, oh, Adam yeah. Faith. What do you want if you don't want money? What do you want if you don't want money? Don't you want to marry a baby? Well, his final words. I didn't know he was dead until right now. No, that's uh, it's oh, been no, news no, to me sorry, as well. Sorry. God, I'm old. Was Adam it? Faith. Well, his final words. Channel 5 is shit, isn't it? <laughs> Christ, the crap they put on there, it's a waste of space. Is this all one sentence? That was all one sentence. Oh, okay. Or were they? I wouldn't watch Channel 4 if you paid me. Load of bollocks. I've not watched anything on there since about 1991. <laughs> so, A, Channel sure. 5 is shit. Did he hate Channel 5 or Channel 4? Well, I don't know who he is, yeah. so I'm going to... Okay. I get the impression yep. you'd have more of an opinion about that. Oh, would he? Okay. Yeah. Also, I trust you. We put A for all of them so far. And that's done really it's, well I'm just for playing us. Off. It's, okay. yeah, I'm just playing the off. All right. odds. I think you're right. I think cool. you're right. Cool. That's just no, my really. introduction. That's kind of lazy thinking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what I'm do we think? I'm with it. Go on. Team... Uh, a good battle. Hey. Uh, 
Sanya and Paul. Hey. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, my, my line yes. of reasoning was all oh, yeah. the nice funeral was coming our Channel way. Five is shit, isn't it? Christ, the crap they put on there, it's a waste of space. He said a lot. He, did he run out of breath? I think it's a trick question. I think he also didn't think about Channel 4 first. And then <laughs> Channel 5. Yeah. Oh. Question 5, last one of this round. Archimedes. You know Archimedes, the inventor of the screw. Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan. <laughs> He invented um, how water displaces yeah, itself. The Archimedes. Uh, well, I mean, he didn't invent it. He invented it. Like <laughs> oh, Isaac Newton. He did. He did, Chris. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been corrected. Yeah, he invented that. Isaac Newton invented gravity. We all just yeah. floated around before him. <laughs> yeah, Einstein That's invented the photocapacitor. capacitor. Yeah. 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 Go on. Einstein the dog. Yeah. Yeah. Archimedes. Brown took the credit, but it was the dog. Shut up! <laughs> Archimedes. Yes. Well, so his final it's... words, A, don't disturb my circles. Ooh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> or B, do not forget my rhombus. Oh. I know I, know I want it to be you want to let you make that, one. Sh- sh- yeah, sh- sure. that one. Yeah. A. Um. You both got for A and you're both right. Oh, he said this to a Roman soldier who interrupted his ge- geometric experiments during the capture of Syracuse, whereupon the soldier killed him. Don't oh disturb my, my circles! <laughs> <laughs> leave. That's what you get. Do what you want Archimedes. to my rhombus, but leave the circles alone. Right, that was round one. And I believe at the moment you're both tied. <laughs> I was working in the morgue late one night when I opened a drawer and saw a spooky sight. The corpse inside was wearing no pants, so I dragged him out and we started to dance. They did a dance. We did a forbidden dance. They did a dance. It was boogie time. They did a dance. His limbs were drooping. They did a dance. It was a forbidden dance. Around the morgue we danced and twirled, oblivious to the outside world. I could even ignore that he had started to whiff. It was a private waltz between a man and a stiff. When his head fell off, I thought that was it. The dance was over and it was time to quit. Instead, I scooped him up and stuck his head on with glue and made him wear a hat that was really a shoe. They did a dance. We did a forbidden dance. They did a dance. He had a shoe on his head. They did a dance. He didn't care because he was dead. They did a dance. We did a forbidden dance. Unfortunately, I'd been careless, you see. My boss had installed closed circuit TV. He watched back the footage when he came into work, reported me to the county club. They did a dance. We should not have danced. They did a dance. You shouldn't dance with a corpse. They did a dance. Especially if you value your career. They did a dance. I now share a cell with a man named Greer. Round two, executions. Oh. oh so I've got to read out the names of five types of historical execution. Oh, God. And you have to come up with yeah. what they were. And I will award the point to the team that is closest. The Brazen Bull. <laughs> oh, do you have to write this down or we just blow Well, you can mm. confer. Brazen Bull. What do you think the Brazen Bull was? What makes a ball brazen, Paul? It's, 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 it's a snobby attitude. <laughs> yeah. So it, it offends you to death. Yeah, I actually think this is... The strap is strip on. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't Shall be overhearing what's going on here on Team Ogre Battle. I'm sure we can make oh, it yeah, make We can make it make sense. Something to split you. So every time I think you're done, you're adding more detail. This is terrifying. <laughs> this is an essay going on here. Right. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, well, uh, team death. <laughs> that is team brazen. death. You get pulled down over it and it splits you in half as you pull down right. in, in twain. How yeah. sharp is its back? Uh, it doesn't have to be, because the slower the when better. When you say it, what is it? Well, the kind of like a like you know like a horse that you have at like a gym. It's like one of those things, but made of metal, and you pull it down. You pull, get pulled down over it with welds. It's something Rip. like that, because this all sounds familiar. 
Team Ogre battle. It's you put someone on a bull, they're strapped onto the bull till the G-force causes death, and then the bull fucks them. <laughs> <laughs> I death. mean, that's very, yeah. at least that, that's a very uh, different answer. That's a very different answer. <laughs> well, the, the last line is, um, that's a Sue's original. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absorbing himself from the, all that. responsibility. I did yeah. that for fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, the brazen bull, also known as the bronze bull or the Sicilian bull, was a torture and execution device designed in ancient Greece. Uh, uh, blah 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 blah. I don't know why I can't paste the whole bloody thing. Uh, anyway, the bull was made to be entirely out of bronze. It was a bronze replica bull right. um, oh. that was hollow with a door on one side. They used to put someone in them, right? Uh, yeah, uh, and they'd oh, light a fire yes. under it and basically cook them to get oh. to death. But it was had acoustic pipes in it, and the person dying screams were echoed out and it was said to sound like the sound of a bull. Yeah. That's oh, that's horrible. It's wow, really really sad. Yeah, thank, wrong thanks, with, Greece. Yeah. yeah, the Greeks. What is wrong with <laughs> um, I'm going to give the point to this side because you guys yeah. involved a real bull. Real bull. Now, this one you might have heard of. Right. Question two. Keel hauling. But what exactly was it? Keel hauling. How do you spell oh, that? K E E L H A U L I N G. I you know, know this one. Okay. Oh, I'll let you take this one. You enjoy this. <laughs> I mean, that in itself is pretty horrible. That's horrible, but would it kill you? Oh. Uh huh. So oh, I think that's I'll, awful. I'll hand the pen back to you. Thank I can you. Do this bit. They like file you wrong. down. It sounds like right, uh, uh, team like ogre battle. Thing. Do you want to? I think this means kill holding. Yeah. Is um, it's what was it? An execution. It involves. Like roping someone up and dragging them around the hull of a ship under underneath and oh. up the other side, yeah, but ship with like barnacles and shit on the side. Yeah. Oh, you're By right. the way, we've both written barnacles, etc. Et et oh. uh, well, it's a tie. You're all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. basically they would be yeah. <laughs> they would basically be sort of oh. ripped to shreds by the barnacles underneath yeah. the boat. That's awful. Barnacles. Extremely yeah. unpleasant. Yeah. These, none of these are nice. I Nature should say that. Nature is cruel. <laughs> Nature is cruel. Nature is a cruel mistress. Yeah. Right, you'll have heard the words together before Roman candle oh. oh I just can't remember that video do they just I mean this is where the this, firework gets its name right. there's a clue oh mm. oh well, the thing is the Roman candle this is wrong the, the spinny thing but I don't that's know that's a Catherine wheel Catherine wheel you're right I'm sorry Roman candle Oh, he's roaming around. Where like, am I'm going to sort my own funeral out, so I don't need to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, so he's going to build your arms. Nice. Come on, then. Right, what is a Roman candle according to Team Death? Oh, they might light a load of candles on the... Or they set you on fire. And like set that. them on fire. Yeah. And set the candles on fire. Yeah, or something like okay. that. Okay. And then look, he's looking, he's walking around. Yeah, it's lovely. Candle. He's roaming Hello. around. A Roman candle. Yeah. A Roman Hello. candle. Well, Team Ogre Battle? Uh, uh, We've kind of met in the middle with two concepts. Wick up the arse, use body fat as wax. Oh, that would do um, wow. But you did say probably wick in the throat. And I, I don't know, but I think the, the body fat... <laughs> I think the burn, the burning of body fat is part of the... I don't know. Well, he's basically setting fire to a Christian. Right. Um, <laughs> 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 setting fire to a Christian! Uh, it was Emperor Nero. Oh. It was his thing. that He would light a load of Christians on fire and just watch it. Yeah. Uh, oh, and that was it? That was it. Really? So, um, oh, it's rubbish. I'm going to give it to Team... De uh, ogre battle. Hey. Uh, we both have people we set, set on fire. We set, yeah, set candles fire. under, and then we said set, set people on fire. I to, to, I like we the, literally set people on I like fire. I body fat seen... thing. That's Sorry, what Paul. Christians um, burn real nice. Yeah, they do. They're very uh, uh, waxy. Yeah. So they tend to go up and last a long time. And In all fact, the piety makes them last a while. Yeah. Yeah, that's so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't like it when he doesn't win, does he? Oh no, I was more lost in my thought about how I could burn a Christian. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get complaints, and you know what the complaints will be about. Like, oh, I see you're not making fun of like, uh, that. Oh, in all fairness, yeah, that's yeah, what you're yeah. going like the whole world. You wouldn't world say that burn. about a. Yeah. <laughs> Funny, you wouldn't set fire to a Scientologist, and I'm like, ha, jokes on you. I would actually. Yeah. <laughs> in a heartbeat. In fact, I already have. <laughs> He's outside. Yeah. He's inside the brazen bull going. Going <laughs> 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 clear. Um, <laughs> so take take that reply, guys. That's yeah. where David Miscarriage's wife is right now. <laughs> David Miscarriage. <laughs> What's his name? Miss Miss it's, it's the same difference. David, David Miscarriage, Miscarriage, the Shelley boss Miscavige. of the Scientologists. Shelley Miscarriage, I'm sorry that I burnt you. Yeah. 
Right, question four. The Blood Eagle. Oh, I like the sound of it. Mm. Oof. That's metal. Mm. Something that's draining or something. I, I, I think it's how you. I haven't seen that. Oh, I've only seen a, a, bit, a bit of a swing. Yeah. 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 I'd like to think it's a bit of a swing. I kind of like to think it's a bit of a swing. I forgot what you called. Over battle. battle. Well, we think it's a swinging mini scythe on top twine that slices you till all your blood drains out. Sort of like an incredibly good answer. Yeah. All right. I think this is a midsummer type thing where. It's actually just body dismemberment, but when your body's finished, it looks like an outstretched Ooh. eagle. So it's all been pulled apart. I'm going to give like it that. to you. <gasps> uh, yeah, it's, really? it's a Viking yeah. uh, execution method. They basically open up your ribcage at the back yeah. to the air, yeah. expose your lungs to the air, so they look like wings. Yeah. Yeah. What's well, another tie for that man. round? Oh. Yeah. So this is this is the decider round oh my three. Goodness. Oh, what okay. a, what this drama. one. No pressure. Causes yeah. of death. Oh, God. I shall read out the names of notable historical figures and two forms of death. You have to say which one that person oh. died. Okay. Right. Question one: Harry Houdini was Harry Houdini punched oh. in the stomach by a student, or was he B kicked in the back by a horse? Oh. Don't argue with me about it. No. Now that I've heard the answers, I know what the answer is, yeah. so it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Everyone knows. Everyone's saying A. Let's, okay. say, let's okay. all say A then. He was a, punched in the stomach by a student. And then he put a, a, a traffic gun. cone on his head. Yeah. <laughs> and went, <"Hey>, you, <laughs> <laughs> Lifted up his shirt and went, spring break. <laughs> right. Henry the First of England. Oh. Did he All die right. by A, choking to death on a chrysalis? You're not allowed to answer this one. <laughs> or B, eating too many lampreys? Suze, you on your own. I don't know. Why would he do either of those things? What's a lamprey? It's like a little sort of fishy, wormy thing. Yeah. Well, well, how could you possibly eat too many of those delicious treats? Well, I You're both think going for the lampreys. Ate too many lampreys. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. both right. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, Chris knows I have used the you phrase what, choking to death on a chrysalis. Oh. So many times. Here's the yeah. thing, though. I wouldn't have known that had you not, before you give the second answer, said you're not allowed to answer this uh, question. Yeah, today. I know. It's a good process. Why would you? I only realised when I read out the words that who was sitting here. What's Welcome that? back. That's just between. We're filming eyes. again. Uh, uh, right, Martin of Aragon, did he A, laugh himself to death, <laughs> or, or B, fart himself to death? Uh, I, yeah, it's, it's that. Yeah. Because yeah. that's that's possible. Mm -hmm. And I've seen Mythbusters and I know what's not possible. Oh, oh laughing is okay. okay. Yeah, well. Well, okay, well, come on, I guess you answer A. Oh, you're oh, saying laugh to death. Yeah. Uh, so you're going for fart to death. It was in fact laughed himself to death. Aww. Can, I, can uh, I just say that, Paul, you seemed a little bit angry when you're saying yeah, it's you not did. possible to fart yourself to death. If you tried it, 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 yeah, what's it that depends about, on, weird <laughs> method. on what you mean by <laughs> fart Conquer yourself wise. to death. If the process of farting <laughs> hasn't been known to kill you on, nor has being in a space small enough to contain the toxic gases that would not be enough to kill you, so you can't die of smelling your own farts either. Well, I don't think it was going, uh, what I was going for wasn't yeah. a literal fart himself to death. You think no, like he did a fart yeah. Yeah. yeah, like he didn't like, like fart himself inside out or something. Like <laughs> now that's how you die. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine you didn't that end one? You end up looking yeah. like a lamprey. <laughs> You farted out a lamprey. Going clear. Going clear. <laughs> God, you're obsessed with that. Uh, right, I'll tell you how he died, because I scud this. Um, right, so he died from a combination of indigestion and uncontrollable laughing. He was watching uh, like, a James Acaster special and it was too much. <laughs> it was too funny. It was so layered. It was so funny and layered. He, was like, he mentioned and Kettering James again. Acaster fans. <laughs> uh, right, so apparently... He was suffering from indigestion on account of eating an entire goose when his favourite jester, Borra, entered the king's bedroom. When Martin asked Borra where he had been, the jester replied with, out of the next vineyard where I saw a young deer hanging by his tail from a tree as if someone had punished him for stealing figs. This joke caused the king to die from laughter. <laughs> oh my God! You know what, that's very similar Borra. to the goodies. Someone died yes. laughing uh, to death. Ecky thump. Ecky thump. Yeah. Which is... One of the most problematic episodes they've done. Question five. Sigurd the Mighty, a 9th century Norse Earl of Orkney, was he A, bitten by a decapitated head, or B, did he drink out of a puddle? <laughs> <laughs> surely, you know what? I just, want it, I just want it to be that one. It's, but he yeah, would have died from it. Yeah. Like, I don't think it is that one, but we'll leave, we'll leave that. I know. Because yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I don't know how that would kill you. Team Ogre Battle. 
Well, I just don't think that a snapping disembodied <laughs> head would give you any trouble. You just kick it out like, of the way. One could fall off and like the teeth could embed in your arm. That's not really. But a even fight. then, well, like, we we decided to hedge the bet with the more boring. He drank okay. out of a puddle like an idiot. I did A for the exact reason you didn't do A. <laughs> So. And you're right. Yeah, you're right. No! He was, kill he you? was killed. But you, should, we, should we back up your answer? He was killed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, 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 he beheaded one of his enemies, and then was for some reason carrying the head on his horse with him home. Um, and the teeth of the head uh, perforated his leg as he was bouncing along, and then he got an infection and died from it. Oh. Always so yeah. that means he's the uh, first person to die of a zombie bite. Paul and Sanya yeah. get a uh, yes, yeah, very good. Uh, we get a lovely get funeral. a lovely funeral. So congratulations oh, to them. And, uh, <laughs> like to all join us there. now at the ceremony. Get to see um, a nice funeral. That's coming up. Oh. Get fed loads of lampreys. <laughs> yes. Delicious. Ooh, 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 ooh.